Riding that wood with my bitch when I drive it, she ride it. I go home and beat it so violent. Count up that kind of while she run my water. What's up? Pop up in the house. Yeah, so in the trailblazer today. Gonna do a uh, radio swap. Uh, right now I've got the Alpine in here. Pretty nice radio. But the problem is with this, whenever I've got like, <clears throat> I've got well over, you know, thousands of songs on my iPod and we're searching like this with a single den radio. Uh, when you want that one specific song, it's just exhilarating. So I'm gonna change this out and uh, put in a double den. So let's go ahead and get this uh, paneling off and get started. So now since we got the paneling off, which I've said in one of my previous videos is a headache, um, we now got the uh, radio exposed. So, now we're just gonna go in and take out the uh, screws that's holding in the unit and pull this piece out. Okay, so since we won't be using the speakers um, for the factory radio because we've already got, we're using RCAs, I just went ahead and capped these off so these don't touch anything on the inside and uh, possibly make ground noise or anything like that so we'll straighten these wires out and uh, tape them off and then move on to the next set of wires all right so um, got everything wired up so the radio should come on and function properly um, we'll hope for that so I left a little tap right here for the ground on the inside of the vehicle and I'll need to add another tap to here so I can have the um, amp turn on so <clears throat> right here are my taps I don't care what nobody say about these um, they are time savers you can solder into here if you want to. Yeah, it's your prerogative. But me, I prefer to use taps. So, we just tap this wire. And it's done. Now you can just hook up into there and be ready to go. So, now, what I can do is go ahead and strip this wire back, get it ready to get soldered. Um, I'm going to put a red one on here, kind of signify what that means. Um, so, we'll strip this wire back. I'm going to strip the one in the vehicle back and solder it. And we also need to solder this to the other end of the uh, wire that's in there that actually came out. Which is fine. It's no big deal. And we'll just ground that wire. Put a little solder on it. And it'll be all fixed up. So... Let's go in the vehicle and uh, get some work done. So we got it all in there. Plug it up to the back of the radio. Let's see what we got. See if it comes on, but we screwed up somewhere. 
Tell you, these are the moments you live for, boy, when you're doing this crap. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Mad genius. Mad genius. Ain't gonna be no sound coming out of it right now just because. But uh, I kind of want to see if my amp came on. I look back there and the amp came on. Yeah, we in business, we in business. So time to start uh, getting everything buttoned on up. So this little piece right there is I think blocking my radio from fitting all the way back in there. So what I'm gonna do is take my aerosol, cut along this line here and uh, get rid of this piece. So I'll get back with y'all and uh, show you how that turns out. So now that I've got that piece trimmed out, uh, I'm gonna see if the radio will now go all the way back. So the radio did go all the way back. If you can look right here on the mount, it's all the way to the side there. So just whenever you're installing a double den in these, you'll have to trim that little piece out because uh, it won't fit unless you do that. So now let's get everything uh, plugged back up and see if um, we got the right clearance. All right, so check it out. The double den is in. Everything buttoned up nicely. So check that out. Looks good. Everything comes on. Memory and everything's intact. Y'all know how I like to check that. So yeah, man. Everything is good. So let's put it on some tunes. Things is continuing. Oh yeah. So what I wanted to check was if the eject, if it catches anything and ejects nicely, just because we uh, made the mount to where it uh, will fit in the radio properly. So, um, so actually fit in the bezel properly. So look here. So we good there. Now, the fun part now is having to retune everything. Uh, just because this radio is not going to be tuned right with all of the equipment. So we'll go through and do some tuning. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll post it up on the next video. Um, the reason why this is hanging right here because this particular mic is a little smaller than what the other one was so I'm gonna just have to try to find a fix for it but for now it can hang there it's not really bothering anything and it'll still work like it needs to but shoo man that's it peace out